Hi, it's me, Wei Chiang here. Um, today, I will not be recording with my face on because i uh, having a bad hair day. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Um, Zoe uses one third of her money to buy a dress and one quarter of the remaining amount to buy some magazines. After that, she uses two fifths of the rest of the money to buy a present. Now, if she has $54 left, how much did she spend on the magazines? Well, um, we start by the drawing out the model for the first line that says that she uses one third of her money to buy a dress. So we do this, one third. Okay? So this amount was spent on a dress. Then uh, she uses one quarter of the remaining amount. So this is the remaining amount. Um, we dot the line down and we bring this part of the model down. Okay, and we reportion it into four units here. And this one quarter, sorry about that. One quarter of the remaining amount to buy some magazines. So this one here is what we want to find, the magazines. Alright, how much we spend on the magazines. And after that, she uses two-fifths. So again, two-fifths of the rest of the money. And this two-fifths of the rest of the money. So with this one here, I cut it into one, two, three, four, and five parts. Two-fifths. So we know that uh, she has $54 left. Well, for this part of the model, we can work it as three units to be $54. One unit would therefore be um, $18. And um, the whole of this one, which is five units, will be five units is therefore $90. But that would also mean that this portion here okay is ninety dollars so based on this second model here this one here what we can do is three units is ninety dollars one unit will be thirty dollars which is actually the amount that was spent on the magazines so we can actually go further uh, to find out how much money she had at first or we can also find out how much money she spent on a dress we can also find out how much money she spent on the uh, present so, whatever the question is asking for, it doesn't really matter. What, ha what is more important is that the child or the student understands the concept that uh, this three units here is not equivalent to the three units here and is not equivalent to three units here. So, with that, I shall end today's uh, question and answer. Um, I've, uh, please subscribe to my videos and share my videos with your friends so that uh, more of your friends can benefit from whatever that I am trying to share. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.